Hey, what's happening, everybody? It's nice to be back here on live from my mother's basement. It's me, Mike Marino. Today, again, like we did yesterday, this is comedian Marco Asante. We're here at Laughs Unlimited Comedy Club in Sacramento, California. They call this Old Town Sacramento. Yeah, I look kind of tired, too. It's the lighting that's making us look a little tired. But then again, we did five shows. And tonight is our sixth show. Or oh, we did four shows, and tonight is the yeah. What is it? We did four shows, and at seven o'clock, which is in an hour. We gotta go do another. In about show. an hour. We gotta go back over to the club. <laughs> it's not a mirror. It's oh. a camera. Oh, right. There's people looking at the show right now. Oh. Not that many people. Not that many people are gonna watch the show right now because football's on. See, what we like to do is we like to broadcast when everybody else is broadcasting, so that you get many choices. You could be watching football. We're watching football. The game is on in the other room. Oh. Hang on. We're telling more followers to join your video. We're telling your followers. To... This is really strange over here. I wonder if this is even rolling. Because usually there's a ton of people. No, we're live. We're live over here. And here's John. John is out there watching the show. Thank you so much for being a great friend and a good fan. Your son is a fantastic musician. Um, magician. John has a son who's a magician. He's guy's fantastic. Bert's a great guy. Eric Portman's a great guy. There's Brandon Bruno from Rockstar Clothing and Jill. How you doing, Jill? How's everybody doing today? Folks, we spent the day in Old Town Sacramento, which is where we are right now. This is Old Town Sacramento. And in Old Town Sacramento, it yeah, we want this is our grandparents. This is how long Marco and I know each other. My grandfather, Giuseppe Marino, and his grandfather, uh, that guy, that guy, used to uh, run molasses down from Canada. <laughs> no. Why don't you tell him? Marco's got a problem with his wisdom teeth. I have my wisdom teeth taken out again. Not again, but anyway, it's a long story. So I'm a little swollen, and it hurts, and I'm on, uh, you know, some pain pills. Got the stand-up trooper. He's got five shows to do, and in pain, he still gets on the stage and does stand-up comedy. That is out of control. Why'd you have to have your uh, wisdom teeth taken back out again anyway? Again, some, somebody's asking that? No, there's something weird about this one. There's usually like tons of people writing in, and I don't see them. No, that's impossible. This shit usually goes absolutely ballistic. And no friends. Hmm. Nothing like a bunch of guys in their late forties doing a podcast, not knowing exactly how to do this late shit. 40s. Yeah, you're in your late forties. I'm in my early forties. Oh, oh, here they come now. Here they come. What the hell happened? Yeah, where'd you go? Where'd you? What the fuck? Okay, so there's Paul Metaliano. He's from Jersey City, New Jersey, where I'm from, the Marion section. There's Pamela Roth. She's a great attorney, and she's got a great talk show in New York City. And John, we put Anthony's America's Got Talent audition video together today, and the clip of you with Anthony in Chicago made the cut. Well, there you go. I guess in a roundabout way, I have something to do with America's Got Talent. I'd love to be on America's Got Talent, but right now we are in America with talent. Which is a great cover. See where I picked that shit up? I saw it while you were on the This is my fellow stand up comedian, Marco Asante. And not only is he a great stand up comedian, but he co stars in our web series that we call Make America Italian Again. It's getting thousands and thousands of views on YouTube, uh, Instagram, Facebook, all around the globe. And we want everybody to keep on watching the show, and you can let us know what you think. When we walk around the streets, people stop us, they hug us, they say hey, everything is really, really great. Oh, the I think that's why there's not that many people writing into the show. It's getting a poor, poor connection, but we're live over here. All right. So all you got to do is go to MikeMarino.net and check out the show, subscribe to the channel, and we'll always send you updates. We'll even send you complimentary tickets to some shows where we happen to be performing together. So Marco, tell us. Where'd you get your start in stand-up comedy? Because this guy's from Long Island, and I'm from New Jersey. I'm not from Long Island. Isn't Queens the same? No. no. What's the difference? It's two different things. Long Island is Long Island, and Queens is a borough. I know people from Long Island, but I'm not from Long Island. Well, isn't Queens a borough on Long Island? No. Where is it? 
in Queens. <laughs> it's Long Island and then there's Queens. It's two different things, Mike. Okay. This Michelle Fowler Trevino asking us to come to Indianapolis. I haven't been to Indianapolis in quite some time. We used to play a show out there, a club out there called Crackers. Um, thank you so much, Michelle, and you're welcome, Pamela, Sandy Day. How you doing? Make sure Marco and I are coming back to California. We're going to be in Los Angeles at the North Hollywood Comedy Club called the Ha Ha Comedy October Club. 19. October 19th. It's going to be called the Battle of Long Island and the Borough Queens. Explain that, Queens, because I didn't even know this it's shit. Five boroughs. Long Island is separate. It's, you know, it's, we used to call them the outer boroughs, right? It's too hard to explain. Long Island, it's the island. All right, so outside Queens, Brooklyn, you know, you get on. Brooklyn's an outer borough. Brooklyn is a borough. Borough, okay. Yeah. So you have the Long five Island's boroughs, the five towns, like in the movie. No, two different things. Five towns is different than the five boroughs. Yeah. Oh shit! See, here comes the people now. Oh Christ! You two together again? It's Charlie Filippo, your buddy from over at the thing. Over there. Yeah, oh. Charlie. What are you doing, Charlie? And right now, say hello to Pam, Mel Cam. You guys are funny. Thank you, Mel. It's nice to see you. It's nice to see everybody. Pamela Roth. We're in Long Island. No Queens is part of New York City. She said, we're in Long Island. No, no Queens is part of New York City. Queens, Ozone Park is where I'm from in Queens. Long Island is where we perform. I perform. Out in Levittown and in Belmore. Uh, these are clubs. But then I have friends that live in Long Island. But I'm from Queens, Queens, New York, right off uh, Cross Bay Boulevard, you know? Well, this is really fantastic. Check out all the people that are writing in right now that want to come and see the show. Pamela is saying she's from Long Island. Long Island. Long Island is Nassau and Suffolk County. There you go. Now we're getting very specific. Yeah, well, she's right. She knows. You don't. Oh, she's buying me a map. Yeah, there you go. All right, you know what? I'll just send that. The Pamela Roth, the lawyer. Pamela knows she's going to get us in trouble. We got to go on your talk show, Pamela, and you can come on our show. And Sandy Day is saying she can't wait to see us because we're returning to Los Angeles November 19th. Make America Italian again. October 19th. That's what I said. Uh, oh, I fucked it up. You said November, I think. All right. I'm glad you're on the show. October 19th is October, October 19th. The Ha Ha Comedy Club in North Hollywood. It's going to be a gas. I'm going to be in the show. Marco's going to be show. Uh, Stevie D and a couple of other surprise guests who you could see on the web series. Mel, my mother in loved the show a few years ago. She loves you from Jersey City. She's, she recently passed away. I'm sorry. And she had so much fun seeing her. Oh, that sucks, man. I know sometimes reading Facebook's like reading an obituary. Every time you open up Facebook, you, somebody, you read that somebody passed away. That's really, really sad. We have a lot of friends that are just not living into their 90s like we wished we could. And Mel right here is saying that her mom passed away, who happened to be a fan. Mel, I'm really sorry about the loss of your mom. Sorry about your mom. And thank you so much for writing into the show. As you can see, Marco and I are still trying to hash out where we're performing in the next couple of months and or what it's like to be from Long Island or Queens. Well, that's right. Tell everybody about our show in Reno. Uh, October 20, I don't even know. Um, October. Yeah, I wear my glasses. You October, can't see my eyes. He won't put his on. That's not right. October 23rd to uh, October 28th in Reno. Reno. Reno, Nevada. The show in Reno, Nevada is at the Silver Legacy Casino, and the club is called The Laugh Factory. So if you're in the Reno area or if you're in Nevada and you want to come and see the show, Marco and I and a couple of other comedians will be at the Laugh Factory. That's right, Laugh Factory. Ginny Lynn Gray, how you doing? She's out there in Florida. Where and in Florida? Where in Florida are you, Ginny Lynn Gray? She's a great singer, a great friend, and an unbelievable entertainer. Look at this one, Kiko Chiado Perry. Hi, Mike. Hello from Carol, Lou, and myself, the Uncle Louie Variety Show. We love you. Okay, listen. One of my favorite shows to watch at Marco's is the Uncle Louie Variety Show. These guys are fantastic. Oh, yeah, yeah. They have their own coffee. It's called For Coffee. 
and I got one of their coffee mugs. So if you guys want to laugh at some other Italians that are from up in Rochester, New York, that are touring the country, that's right, we talked about them today because we like doing shows with them. Nothing like a bunch of Italians getting together to do some wise guy type shows or authentic Italian shows like the Uncle Louie Variety Show with, with all those guys. They're fantastic. Here's Robert Trevino. Have you recycled any bad breath lately? Well, he's mimicking me in one of my shows. I'm hoping I don't have bad breath right now because I'm right next to Marco. Here's Ginny Lynn Gray. What's up? Ginny Lynn Gray. Thanks. Love you guys. We'll be at the next local show. Mel, where are you? Can you tell us what state you're in? They might be writing in right now. Mike Lucas, got a great car waxing company. Miss you, Mike. You're a great guy. Pamela Roth, thank you so much for writing in all the time. Cooper City in the house. What's going on, Cooper City, Florida? Uh, Jeannie Lynn Gray, I'm going to be back in Florida. We're coming to the, um, uh, what's the name of that place? The Boca Raton Black Box. The Black Box, Boca Raton, November 16, 17, and 18. Make sure you come down to that theater and watch. We're going to bring Marco down to that show. We're going to go nuts. Making America Italian again is going to be really, really funny. And this is Tammy Van Splinter. Hi, guys, from California. Well, we're in California right now, Tammy. What borough are you in? Are you in Queens? Mel's in NJ. Did you get car in Jersey yet? No, Mike, I didn't buy a car yet, but thank you for asking. I'm waiting for a sponsor to give me a car. I'm waiting for them to give me a car. You really don't have a car? No, I rent. Fucking waste of time. I'm a busy guy, man. I tell anybody that. I, well, we just told tons of people that I rent the car in New Jersey because I didn't get one yet. All right, here's the guy from uh, Park Avenue, Vincent. Le Come on, pay attention. Mike, your Scotch plane's best. We are ready for your weekly TV show. You're great. All right, remember when we were in, New, um, in my house in uh, New Jersey yeah. with wheels and we went down to the uh, John's Meat Market? Pretend. John's Meat Market. On Park Avenue in Scotch Plains is the best place to be. Folks, if you're looking for an old school place to buy your meats and have some fun and meet the funny guys video. alive, right? The video funny? I seen, I'm not going to lie, but I yeah. wasn't there. All right, well, that's Vincent from John's Meat Market. The market. video I seen, I remember It's that. the greatest. John, I mean, Vincent, we are in Northern California right now, and we have one more show to do. We sold out, well, three of the four, and tonight, well, we don't know what we're going to have. And then Shit. I'm getting a bad connection. Oh, well. It was a bad connection. That's why I wasn't getting that many hits on Instagram, because it was a bad connection. But we're still here on this particular live feed. We're not going anywhere. No. Where's that? 262 people watch. That's the time. That's the time. What the hell are you looking at? You get your glasses on, bro. Can't see. That's what time it is. Anyway, yeah, Tammy's in Antelope Valley, Jeannie Lynn Gray is in Florida, we're in Northern California, and Marco's from Queens, which is not Long Island, we learned that. Um, we went around the town today, we had some fun, if you know anything about Old Town Sacramento, this entire town looks like it's still in the 1700s, and uh, Marco, would you show everybody what we did today, because we thought this was fun, watch out for the glare. We did some research about our family members, and then we went to Alcatraz and did the history on uh, where we came from. And we learned that uh, my great-grandfather and his great-grandfather, um, when they first came over from Italy, they only stayed for a little while. And they did some time over at Alcatraz for uh, making good macaroni and pasta, and then they went back to the old country. Isn't that how it happened? I don't know, I'm trying to be a rat. I mean, I want to be a rat. Carlo Russo is uh, one of the guys from the Uncle Louie Variety Show, which is what we were just talking about. Do a shout out to Carlo. It's Marco Asante. Carlo. What's up? See, he won't put his glasses on. He's fighting, reading this shit. You can do it, man. <laughs> my bag over there. Last night, Marco went on stage and did... Well, we did two shows last night, and both shows he got standing ovations. That's before I had to go on. 
It's very difficult for a following act to go on after the middle guy gets the major standing ovation. People yell and scream and cheer. And so good. tell us about the experience. That was that was tell us what happened. Why did that happen anyway? Well, we did a little writing. We tightened up some stuff. That, uh, I'm not going to lie. It, it helped. And uh, it was just good. It was just a good audience, man. Fun. Sacramento got some fun people, man. So thanks. I'll shout out to the Sacramento crowd that was out there last night, man. It was it was a lot of fun. Some days you don't have good uh, fun up there, but last night it was worth it. Last night was so much fun because there was a lot of birthday parties in there. There was yeah. some. They like to got married. They like to talk to you while you're doing the show. Well, it's not a really long conversation. conversation. It's called interrupting. <laughs> but we know how to deal with it Italian style. Yeah, we made the people have fun. And he's up there slamming the room, people yelling, screaming, cheering. He was laughing so hard. He couldn't believe the, how big the laughs were. It was good. People were just having so much fun because we're in North California. They're not used to having guys from Queens or New Jersey come in the room, step on the pedal, grab them by the throat, and make them choke, laughing, because they, they can't believe we're actually saying what we're saying. Yeah. And that's one of the reasons why... You know, people around the world have an affection for East Coast entertainers because we ain't going to pull no punches. This shit's coming out. And we had him scream. He's also a good looking guy. Well, you know, I want to, I need to acknowledge the people that are writing yeah, in. Yeah, I can't see without the glasses. Yeah, this yeah. is Tom. He's a dentist. Carlo, of course, is one dentist. of our fellow. He's a dentist. Tom. Tom. Tom, Tom, you I have told my, Tom. Tom, I had my wisdom teeth taken out five weeks ago. And then they found some stuff in there. I took an x-ray. I had to go back in and get a cleaning. I mean, a bad, I'm not a cleaner, but anyway, I'm still on um, antibiotics, and it hurts. It hurts. You know what I'm saying? I'm reading some of these things. Tammy Van Splinter, did you have more than 20 people for the show? And she thinks that's funny. We had 300, 300 for the show. Love you and miss you, Marco. Oh, there's one of your friends. Oh. Gina. Oh, that's Leon. my cousin. Oh, no kidding. I love hey. you, guys. What's up, Gina. cuz? That's my cuz. Love you, cuz. Say something. She probably left because we... No, she we didn't leave. leave. You didn't even she say hello to her. Well, because we're finding it now. Gina, how you doing? Your cousin Marco's a sensation. Have you been watching the web series? She's the best. She used to make me chocolate in pine. All the time. Now you're getting a response from the dentist. Hi, Mike. Hi, Marco. Bring a little tri-state comedy to California. Well, that's kind of what we did. Uh, Tom, he had a, a wisdom tooth pulled out and then re pulled out. Wisdom. Three wisdom teeth five weeks ago. It's left a little tooth in there, and I had to go back, and it was horrible. Look, damn little lawyer saying, sounds like a, a malpractice suit. And Tom is no, saying, sorry, Mark, it sounds like the dreaded dry socket. That's right. It was, <laughs> he knows. It wasn't a dry socket, but the feeling was just the same. It left a little tooth in there. It was hard to get out, and it happens, apparently. And I didn't want to leave it in there. The pain was too much, and uh, I had it taken out, and I had to go through the whole process again. So it's going to heal, and uh, hopefully it's going to get better. That's right. Dry socket. I got one more day left for the dry socket not to happen on this one. No straws, he knows. Marco's been heavily medicated all weekend because of the dry socket in his mouth. And I have been heavily medicated because there's crazy people in Northern California. So I smoke my weed and he does his drugs. Here's some more emails coming in from your cousin, Gina. Gina. I love you. Slow typer. Good no in Mexico. She's in Mexico right now. Yeah. Say hello to Jimmy. And uh, I'm sorry we missed you guys when you were here. I didn't get to see you. I didn't get to see you at the wedding. And uh, I'm not sure. Did you make it to the wedding? Cuz? Is she right? No. There's Gina. There's Lorenzo Emmett. And here comes Maria Lucci Safi. Now, if you remember who Maria is, her father is also in our show, Make America Italian Again. He plays the hitman and the piano player. The guy's very oh, talented. Yeah. Remember? Oh, yeah. I can't. Th Alex. Yeah. Alex Safi. Say hello. Let me know if you want know, me to send you some lavender oil. It's good for the pain and healing. Well, that would be for him. You need lavender oil. Tom is praying for you because you got dry socket. Yeah. Who else is Maria again? And here comes your cousin one more time. 
I'm Will do. Able. Sorry to. Yes, great wedding. This guy over here that's writing in right now, this guy, Michael Vernotica. I'm always saying I'm going to go to, he's got a nice old school diner in New Jersey. I believe it's in Bergen County. And I'm dying to get up there and hang out and have some food. And Taylor ham egg. Taylor ham egg and cheese on a hard roll up in Northern Jersey. We've got to make that happen too. In fact, when Marco's in town and we start filming again, Make America Italian Again, series number two, we're going to have to come up there and shoot some, some footage over in your place, which would be really, really great. We're going to get the whole cast together again. Angelo Sarukis, um, Jay Davis, a bunch of different people, and uh, start filming again. I walked away and came back to dry socket. Do you need an electrician? Mouthwash or lube? That is fucking hilarious. <laughs> Go ahead, Jeannie Lynn Gray. Jeannie Lynn Gray is in Florida. She's a fantastic singer, a great entertainer, great actress. We've done many, many shows together. And like Jeannie Lynn, I'm coming back out there in November. Marco's going to be on tour with me, and I hope you'll come see one of the show complimentary tickets. I know how to get them to you, okay? We share the same agency, and I think we're going to have a lot of fun with that. But uh, we're going to do a couple more announcements, then we got to get over to the Laughs Unlimited Comedy Club and finish up the rest of the shows. We actually just have one more tonight at 7 o'clock. So if you're in the area, everybody, why don't you come and see me and fabulous comedian Marco Asante at Laughs Unlimited Comedy Club tonight at 7 o'clock. He's flying back into California tonight. We're going to LAX or Burbank. Oh, that sucks. Oh, that nice. sucks. Who's picking you up? Anybody? Oh, okay. Well, you're getting picked up. You're getting the celebrity thing. I got to drive home. <laughs> all right. Tell us all about one more time, if you would. October 19th. October 19th. Oh, yeah. And then uh, not to take up any space in Mike's website or webpage, whatever this thing is. October 13th, I'm going to be at Governor's. Uh, Levittown, two shows opening up for uh, Gilbert Godfrey. If any Long Island people are watching, come give me a. Or if you're in Queens. <laughs> if you're in one of the boroughs. Oh, I can't even laugh. <laughs> He's got dry socket. I hate when it's a dry socket. Great job. Keep up the good work. Thank you so much, Michael. Lorenzo, thank you. Jeannie Lynn, thank you so much. Everybody, thank you so much for writing into the show today. I'm sorry about the uh, Instagram thing. It didn't work. Remember, you can listen to us all the time because Marco and I are going to have a podcast and a web series and a TV series. We're not going to stop until we make America Italian again. again. And I run for president in 2020 for real this time. We're really going to do it. We're going to have a lot of fun. And uh, just keep going to MikeMarino.net. Where can we find you? Uh, Marco Asante at Instagram, uh, Twitter. That's it. I don't have a lot going on with that stuff. You know what I mean? You don't have a car in Jersey? Oh, shit. Really? <laughs> no. Hey, here's Mike Wilson. Check this out. Can you say Yugoslavia for me again? Yugoslavia. Yugoslavia. <laughs> what the fuck is so funny about that? Yugoslavia. Do I say it wrong? No. Yugoslavia. 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 I like people from Yugoslavia. I know one name from Yugoslavia. It's Vitslana. That's it. You fact see me. Uh, what is that? Who? Love you, gentlemen. Oh, yes. Governor's Comedy Club. See? You got a fan coming. Pamela Roth is going to come and see you on Gilbert Godfrey. It work. Yeah. One fan. Thousands of people. One fan. All right. Um, Levittown. Listen, I'm coming to Govers in Levittown, but not till 2019. And when I come, I'm coming with Marco and a couple other funny comedians. We're going to bring the show Make America Italian again to Queens, to Long Island, to Brooklyn, all around the world. We ain't stopping until we make America laugh their fucking nuts off the way they're supposed to. Remember, folks, you can watch this show not only here on Mike Marino Live right here on my Facebook, but again on Mike Marino Live on Instagram. And we play every Thursday night at 8 o'clock on ddvradio.com, right? You're right. watching me with the shirt on. I know the letters are coming up backwards, but this is AMP, AMP Up, Autism Movement Project. This is the charity that I believe in. We're trying to raise money for these guys. Look it up on the internet, AMP, Autism Movement Project. Also, you can listen to Marco and I all the time on italianamericanradio.com. Or, of course, right here. Subscribe, subscribe. Mike Marino Live on YouTube. MikeMarino.net. And go say hello to Marco. Wait, here comes Mike Wilson again.
Just look up Family Guy Joe as a Yugoslavia, and you'll know what I mean. <laughs> well, okay. Once I get done doing this, I'm going to go Google your buddy. Mike, I wore your shirt the other day. I'm working on a feature film. We need to do a movie together. Sony Pictures here. Well, listen, I'm ready to do a movie with Sony Pictures. All you got to do is call me up. You know my number. An Italian who looks Irish, Marino, 2020. Thank you very much. All right, this is great. Well, listen, folks, we got to get going and get ready to say goodbye. Autism Movement Project, AMP, that's right. Hitler is beautiful. Who, who said that? Okay, fantastic, Lorenzo. I appreciate that. Listen, we got to get going, everybody. Thank you so much for writing into the show and having some fun with me and the fabulous entertainer, Marco Asante. He's a great comedian, a great friend, and a great entertainer. You can find us all, all the time on MikeMarino.net. Mike America Italian. Bye-bye, yeah. guys. Bye-bye, cuz, if you're still watching. you still Maria. watching. Gina. Yeah, I love you. Hi, Gina. Hi, everybody. Remember, you don't know none, you don't say none, you don't see none. And how do I end every single one of my broadcasts by always saying the same thing? Ready? Yeah. Don't take no shit from nobody. Nobody. <laughs> hey, folks, I hope you're enjoying watching my podcast live from my mother's basement. We're having a lot of fun, and I'm going to have a lot of great guests on the show in the future. So if you like it, hit like. You could also leave a comment. You could subscribe to my YouTube channel and watch other funny videos. And you could also listen to my podcast on your favorite podcast app like Spotify and iTunes.